All right, what I've got here is a 10 horsepower single cylinder diesel engine and ST generator head. Uh, this is actually a Lister clone. It's not a genuine Lister, it's a copy of one by a company. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. I believe it's Ashwa May. Uh, this is a water cooled engine. Um, I actually had this set up as a backup generator for my shop for a while using a thermo siphon setup and a 55 gallon drum. However, my power needs got to be more than what this thing could supply. Uh, this thing will do, you know, probably around eight kilowatts or so. And beyond that, the the uh, it's just more than what the engine can put out. So um, I needed more like 15. It does have provisions for electric start. It's actually got this uh, flywheel size ring gear on this side, and then it's got a Chevy flex plate type ring gear here, along with a mount for a starter. I've actually never used the electric start on this. Uh, when I got it, it had it on there and uh, I found it to be kind of unreliable, so I just went with the hand crank method. I figure if you've got an old generator like this, then it should be hand cranked to start. And it does require a little bit of effort to get the flywheels turning fast enough to start, but uh, once you get them up and going, then, uh, then it starts up pretty easy every single time. So uh, this is an ST type generator head. And I've actually removed the serpentine belt there, but uh, I've still got it. It's, uh, it comes with the generator. So it's mounted on a cart with four casters. Uh, it's pretty heavy, but it does roll around with just hand pressure. And this generator actually comes with uh, some parts that I gathered in preparation for putting this thing on a trailer. And I never actually use this stuff, but uh, I have a couple of radiators here. One of them's got a shroud, one doesn't. These are actually out of a Suzuki Sidekick. Uh, they're more than enough radiator to be able to take the heat out of this generator. I also have a, uh, a small electric fan. That's a 12 volt electric fan. And in these parts here for uh, actually circulating this, I have a, uh, um, it's actually a temperature switch. 170 to 185 for this is for the fan and then I have this uh, this actually out of a Mustang SVT for the supercharger it's designed to circulate hot coolant uh, it's a 12 volt electric pump and uh, I was intending to use this if the uh, off of the thermal switch if uh, thermal driving head wasn't enough to keep the temperature cool inside the generator then I'd have that pump kick on to circulate some additional coolant and then I've got some other stuff here I've got the uh, starter motor um, reservoir, uh, miscellaneous hoses, mounts for the radiator. And then this came with the generator. I've actually never really uh, done anything with it, but it's got a couple of spare head gaskets in it and uh, a couple of other generator parts in here. Some old wrenches and clips and things like that. All right, we're going to go ahead and start this thing up. Uh, in order to get it started, uh, this has actually got a compression release right here. We'll leave that on, get the flywheel up to speed engage the fuel, and then go ahead and remove the compression release. And as long as I get the flywheel up to a high enough speed, then uh, she'll fire right off. And I'm not going to be able to run it for too long because I actually don't have any water inside of it, and the, the cylinder temperatures will get up there pretty quick. So uh, we'll only let it run here for a few seconds, but uh, we'll fire it up and let it get up to speed.